So I played uh, in the Premiership for 10 years. I played for Gloucester, played for Hartbury. Um, it's, yeah, huge links and ties to the place. And there was an opportunity at Hartbury to become a player coach uh, towards the end of my career. Um, and it's probably the best decision I ever made. Uh, I was able to play, continue to play championship rugby, but start my second career as a coach. Um, it's a daunting, it's exciting and daunting thing, sort of getting towards your twilight years of playing, uh, because you know it's coming. Um, but at Hartbury gave me that opportunity to be able to, to grow my, my skills around coaching and my craft uh, while I was still playing uh, and inevitably gave me my, my second career now. So I worked with Linny uh, when I first started. So Linny was in charge of the Bucks programme and I worked with him and it was exciting, fun, dynamic. One of my favourite things about coaching with Linny is you put your best foot forward around planning and what we want to do in the session, what we want to get out of it. And he'll go, nah, we're doing this now, let's crack on. And that's, you've got to be adaptable and it's, it's great fun working with him and uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. For me as a, as a coach as well, I'm still very young as a, as a coach and learning and seeing other people coach and how they interact with players, you, you're learning all the time off other people and it's great to be, have, a, have so many coaches you can learn off all the time. For me as a coach, like I mentioned earlier, I'm still growing and developing, working with, within men's and women's rugby I think is just hopefully making me a better communicator, coach and just person. The environment that Linny creates, he's always got a smile on his face, he's always got a buzz about him uh, and everyone feeds off of it uh, and people want to work and play for him so it's, he, he's at the centre of that, of that success. Uh, he worked with him with, with the Bucks side, uh, he won three, three Bucks Super Rugby titles, um, I won two with him and now look what he's doing within the PWR. You've got to keep growing and adapting as a coach, you can't just do the same thing over and over and Linny's got that side of him. Uh, always trying to get better. He sent me podcasts the other day. Um, he loves Man United, and uh, he, he sent me a he sent me a podcast to listen to the other day about Man United and how they're transitioning after Sir Alex Ferguson. So he's always looking to grow and share those experiences with with other with other coaches. Um, but that core good person really helps. We're very lucky with the players we've got. Uh, some seasoned internationals, some seasoned Premiership players. Uh, and girls that have been in those big games and that really helps in, in those moments like at half time again there was a, in the final this year there was it wasn't like oh what's going on here it was oh we got this we, get, we know what to do we've got this we're going to win this so it was that calm calculated we know what to do here we just let's go and execute it now it's, it's, it's an unbelievable uh, experience for those girls to be in and around that environment and rub shoulders and train with, uh, with seasoned internationals um, that are learning and growing, uh, to learn and grow around them. It's an amazing experience. Uh, like this period at the moment with a, the with a power up, um, we're having that, that blend of, of seasoned, seasoned pros and youngsters coming up to it because they are the future in the next five years. Yes, it's amazing to have these internationals uh, with us and, and part of our, part of our part of the club, um, but they're not always going to be here. Uh, and creating the next ones—that's what we're about as well. It's it's not just yes, we've got these and that that's who we play. We're always looking to develop the next the next player, the next hooker, the next centre, um, the next Alex Matthews, the next Zoe Allcroft, Zoe Stratford. Got to get that right, haven't I? Um, so yeah, trusting them, letting them play, let them gain the experience when it's appropriate, and because they're going to be with us for the next five, five, six years. And that's that's the great thing about our pathway. The girls that are coming into the program, it's not as if they're just coming in from not playing any rugby. They don't play for GH. We've got girls uh, that are studying at the moment. They play uh, women's buck super rugby. We've got our ACE under 18s program as well. They are playing from the age of 16. So when you see them first time out on the field, it's not the first time they've experienced our calls, our structure, our, our ethos, 
our, our culture. They've been in it for three, four years already. And that's why it's great to see Pip doing what she's doing. And that comes down to the pathway. Pip came to Hartbury to study, uh, to play Women's National League, now Women's Buck Super Rugby. And she had been playing the whole time. It wasn't as if she'd been training, not playing, not, not honing her craft, and all of a sudden she's in a match day experience. She'd been preparing for that moment for three years. And that's what Hartbury gave her. And then the experience here was just go and execute. Like, out you go. You've, you've been doing it already. It's just on a different field with a different set of posts with fans. Like, go and doing it. And that's, that's the great thing about our pathway. And Georgia Brock doing exactly the same. Uh, she got capped against the All Blacks. Amazing. Someone who's come through that, that stage, played at Twickenham with uh, Ace and uh, her Bucks programme, running out at Twickenham. It's, it's not normal. She's not used to it, but she's experienced it already. So now she can just go and focus on her job, being the best rugby player she can. It is something you look forward to. Uh, when September rolls around, I normally say to my wife, see you at Christmas, because it's thick and fast. It's um, you week to week, game to game. Obviously working in the Bucks program, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday. Um, but it is, it's, why we, it's why I love the sport. It's why I'm still involved. Uh, I loved it when I was playing. Uh, that's what you do. We're all competitors um, and we all want to compete. And being, being in, a, in a compressed season this year, it's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be an exciting challenge. It's back-to-back -back games, one week off here, go again, go again. So it's going to be, yeah, very much looking forward to it.